Hey, it's Gordo here from Gordo's Games, bringing you some Digimon TCG content today. And today is a bit of a mixture. So we've got a deck profile for you, and we've also got an announcement. So I want to apologise first of all, because I've done this video before, you may have watched it, and then it's been taken down because it was full of audio issues. I'm trying to resolve these issues now. Hopefully this is a little bit better quality. Um, so, without me rambling too much, if you do like the content, it is going to be a Gannetmon profile. Yes, I'm a why did I do that? My first profile at BT6 because, well, you'll see, you'll see. But if you do like the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you know where this content goes live for you. Let's get into it. Alrighty then. Okay, first things first. Let's just sneakily, sneakily just fix this little thing here. So I've had a bit of a change around trying to fix things up, so I'm going to literally do a squash drill here just to make my life easier. There we go. That will do. So, there you have it. First things first, let's take a moment here. You may have seen but Aston uh, Gruffy has done an announcement for this and Winnie who runs the Insta page. Um, but this is the official Gordos Games mat, as you can see. Big shout out to Ultimate TCG who have uh, uh, done the printing for the mats. Uh, shout out for the designer itself. Uh, we'll get the details put in the description below for the design they did. And then obviously for a minute, but everybody at Gordo's game for the work they put in. And uh, specifically, absolutely every one of them. But Aston did, um, Gruffy did get all this going. So big shout out to him. Uh, he has been pushing to get this done. I've been looking into it, but you know, he beat me to the punch. So here we are. Gallimon. Yeah, it's Gallimon. Which profiles are going to be for? Of course, it's going to be red. Of course. I mean, this is me. Or would it not be? So we know profiles start with the eggs. So we run a one of Digimon. Um, eggs in this you can flex however you really, really want to. Um, I've gone for one and four of them because that was my choice. I've gone for the four of Demi Mera to be honest. And the reason being, I want to be a, a pushing into security as much as possible um, with the effects of the start of Gallimon going off where it's popping bodies or the effect of Gallimon at an entry where it's popping bodies so I should be able to fill the trash big enough so the BT2 Gallon starts getting stuff trashed and I'll show you some of the other techs that go along with it we run 5x there, you could run 4 Digimon 1 Demi Mera you could run Yoko's, Red has a lot of flexibility with their eggs all depends on your playstyle really going into level 3 is we run 13 and um, because it's gallant we run four geo this card just gives you a lot more draw power so when an opponent's digimon is deleted trigger draw one and then if your opponent has a level six or higher digimon and play this digimon can digimon into a gallant one in your hand for a memory cost of four ignore its digitalization requirements so this allows you to warp digimon for like beelzemon back, uh, for rentmon back in the day but just putting got a lot of work and obviously it's a nice foil from the starters sticking with starters again uh, two of the start Ragamon. When you attack the player, you gain 2000. Now, that's just not what's potential when attacking. So, if you have ways to restand, that does uh, snack. It's a nice way just to get added 2k buff. Because Gallant's only 11. Um, putting you at 13 can put you out of range in most level 6s. Obviously, level 7 is a completely different story, but you know, you hit level 7 normally at a bad time. Uh, three manager one. Running the start one because the artwork just looks great, but it is just purely there for being a vanilla. And then we run the other starter Ragu, the 1k buff. Originally, I did have it with four of this, two of this. I did have situations where this wasn't helping me because I need to attack into some of their bodies and then get a trash off. I've gone with four of this this time. And I'm pretty sure. 13, yes, I was correct. Uh, we run 11 level 4s, the lineup is pretty generic. Uh, we've gone 3 Dark Tyranno, simple reason, 1 cost Evo. Use a new start one because uh, well, I do I do quite like the artwork they've done on some of these, to be honest. Um, we've gone 4 of the 1 cost blocker. We have 7 things that allow us to turbo to level 5 as quick as possible. And then we're running 4 ground one. This is in here because of the Gallimon deck, but otherwise, it is the case of it doesn't allow you to keep turn with a BT2 Gallimon because if you delete a Digimon, you gain a memory back. 
and it is once per turn but you know even along with the start of gallon if you've d done all the things you need to and you manage to delete one you're gaining memories back so you're extending your turns that little bit but if you were to if you do want to tech into more generic stuff you could put in a one of a goonie and the start of that greymons you could put one or two of in completely up to you there but i do like quite like the ground one uh, it does put in a bit of work uh, level five we run eight we run a one of ground uh, it's not the worst in the world to have a two cost evo and also a five cost to drop if things are going bad again if you got a memory boost down and you've got a tie down use that drop this go into the vt2 talent pop some on board uh, we run a one of voltmon added security checks these uh, you can pretty much go however you want to be honest you can go two volts or you can go two grounds completely up to you I just like I'm, I'm kind of uh, after last set and my toolbox just like the odd one of text here and there in the text we've got two metal gram on SEC uh, 3k buff that just allows you to have that bit of safety when you're swimming with gallant it does make it 14 with ET2 gallant or either start the other start gallant is if you're not popping something, you give them 17, so it's very safe. And then we run four rise. Uh, rise and start again go really well together because so on swing it pops a 4k. Get a tamer down, you have this, it then pops a 6k. So really strong. Um, obviously, you know, let's just play down tamer 3 if we really want to. Don't ever do that too often because I'm, ha I'm quite happy just to throw the tamer down just to pass turn and slow the build up we're looking to be as aggressive as possible and we are looking to play slightly late game with the other gallon but with the, with the newer gallon it allows us to have an early game as well uh, now we'll start with level sixes you know, the tech piece one of the one now i will say um with bt2 gallon because when, when this came out so people wanted to try bt2 gallon with it and it, it never did as much as it liked to and the reason being that this helps excel his game plan whereas you get things in security and then you know you get to trash things you, you know you get things in trash so to say and then you get to trash their security both of you mill five but bringing back a bt2 gallon which had no impact on board straight away wasn't always the best thing whereas this one i feel is your better target for that and the reason being is not because it has an impact on the board straight away because obviously you know it doesn't do anything on an entry but he does have built-in security attack plus one and when attacking uh, pop a 4k so it's not a once but once you know on did evolve one pop this is a continuous pop and continuous security attack plus one at minimum so you, you don't even need a stack to make this have an impact it doesn't have anything, anything worth popping or anything you can pop should i say because it is mandatory you're a 14 a security attack plus one which is pretty big so that's that's always good and then we run three BT2 Gallant. This is your late game finisher. Purple decks, it loves them. You know, it's just this very strong card. And uh, it's nice with a memory boost, it's nice to be able to actually play it and keep turn as well. So yeah, that's the, that's the list there. Now we're not running level sevens because I wanted to keep it Gallant on as the main piece. You know, I don't want to just turn it on me one fest or anything like that. We run four ties. Memory set. We need red tamers for this effect. Uh, we want to be three most of the time, so yeah, red tie, and it does give security attack plus one if you've got four sources under it, which can happen quite easily. Uh, two guy force um, removal. We're not running omnis in that, so we want to have a bit of removal there ready to take things out for us and do our job in security. Uh, two atomic blaster, very good if they try going wide on you. Very good if they go tall on you. It's it's like the old argument of BT one omni. Uh, an alter S. And then we run three memory boost. Uh, memory boost puts in a lot of work. Um, we play it down, real top four, add one red Digimon to hand. We play some security, play into play, and then you get to, the following turn, pop it to gain two memory. And so it allows you to extend your players quite substantially. So that is the deck profile. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you do like it, don't forget to leave, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And obviously in regards to the winner map, all details will be shown in the description below. I will put the link to the tournament itself and I'll put the link to the Discord as well. So don't forget to jump in Gordo's games. We do hold locals Thursdays and Sundays. But here you go. This is what you'll be competing for. Gordo's games, official match.
get involved. Don't forget, let's get pitched and let's get going.